everybody. Today I am going to be doing a seat removal on a 98 Mustang. Uh, basically if you got a 95 through 2004 it's basically the same setup. So if you haven't figured out how to do that by now, here you go. This is it. Okay, what you're going to need for the, the job basically is a 15 mil and a 5 8 and a hammer and a ratchet and some WD-40 maybe a light too so you can see what you're doing I'd be lying if I said it comes off easy but I didn't film that part that part was a bit of a bitch <laughs> Well, the other mounts aren't under those clips or covers, whatever you want to call them. They're right here, they're right there. I pulled the front two ones out, and uh, now I'll get on these ones. I can't get the camera under there at this moment, but there's a electrical clip here that you just unplug like so, and then the seat will just come out on its own. These are big heavy seats, so uh, definitely I don't want to go with a lighter seat if you're looking for weight reduction. There you go. That's the harness I was talking about. The, uh, I guess that'd be the female end and the male end connecting to the other side of the seat. This passenger side is not electrical, so, or electronic, whatever you want to call it. So, um, there's no need to to disconnect that on this side. Basically, again, there's two in the back, two in the front. The ones in the front, you're gonna wanna push the seat as far back as it can go, so you can take these, let me see if I can get a view of it. That bolt right there, a little rusty. And, uh, sorry, bear with me. A little bit of blackout on the screen. And that one right, what the heck is going on with the light? Right there. And right here. So when you're taking those out, you're going to want to push the seat all the way to the back. And again, with the rear ones, you're going to want to push the seat all the way forward to get those out easier. Well, I'm going to use the impact because I have one, so use it to my advantage. Okay, now on to the front. 
There we go. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to shampoo my carpets. The best way to get under the seats and everything is to just take the whole seat out. So that's what I'm doing. Well, that comes out like that. Let me spin you over to this one. That one right there. It's already loose. Need frickin' little hands to do this. Not really, but you can get it done with. Okay, I guess they both come out as nuts. Must have taken the uh, the other one right out of the frickin' floor. But anyways, that's that. You're gonna want to remember how you had the seat when you take them out. For instance, I took the back ones out first. And I took the front ones out second. So I had the seat all the way back for the front ones. So when I put it in, I'm going to want to do the front ones first and the back ones second. And the opposite side, I did it backwards. So I'm going to have lots of fun. Well, that is everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.